Hello, I'm Milne and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. I'm going to start off by saying massive thank you to everyone who's subscribing already and liking my videos. And if you're new here, please join in on the fun. Before I start any build, always make sure you've got the contractor card on for less materials used. I've been asked a few times about how to hide generators in the roofs and how I also blend the different angles of the roofs in. So I'm going to show you a quick video now on how to do that. A few people have covered this. Right, so we can start off by building our roof and then we we'll jump up outside grab the old trusty flamer out and burn it to pieces don't worry about burning the back pieces because we're going to need to burn the entire roof before the end anyway Right, next we can go back inside and place the roof pieces on this side to fill in the gaps. Jump back outside and then burn all that to death. Okay, that's the top roof completely burnt. Now we can move back inside and place the second roof, which will be a flat roof. Okay, and now it's all ready for our generators. Now I strongly advise, if you can afford it, to get these generators out of the atom shop I think they're about 500 atoms and I think they're currently in the atom shop when this video goes live uh, they're brilliant they don't smoke and they don't make no noise at all and they're so easy to hide so I've crouched down at this point because the roof will be crying at you to repair it every three seconds if you're standing up so it's just easier sometimes connecting the power can be a pain but as long as you stand right over the top of the generator you can usually highlight it okay once connected all the power you'll be left with that then you can go indoors and repair that's one blended roof with hidden power right next I'm going to go inside and I will show you how I hide power in stash boxes so you can have hidden power inside the camp if you don't have the roof space so I'll take the buddy system which is just a uh, pressure pad and a mannequin and you can do a drop merge using this method make sure you connect the power before you drop it because you won't be able to connect the wire up once it's merged All right, as you can see here when I move it the wire likes to stay in its original place so when you're moving them about just 
take your time and it'll be fine. Next I'm going to use the new stash box off the Invaders event. Because I think it's kind of a cool stash box. And then just drop it all the way in. Now if you don't have that plan I can show you that it, you can do this in pretty much any box as long as it's big enough. And there's two hidden power inside the camp. Okay next I've been asked quite a lot about how I do my kitchens so I'm going to show you roughly how to do that. First off stand in the same spot and place four bar pieces. As you can see the top one sit on it exactly central then you can just snap some more to it now we're going to use the camp module or camp node whatever you want to call it and this will do the reverse effect of the pressure plate and it will push everything up creating all units so you just keep dropping it on top until you get the height that you're happy with repeat the process as many times as you want to do it See now I'm going to do a corner one so you just as long as you've still got that built you can just snap them to it and it'll be fine just jump it all up right now oh, that will be my starting block take a bit of time pushing that into the corner make sure you're happy with where it sits and I'll do a few more of these wall units Right, as you can see there, it dropped too far. It's an easy fix, just go onto the buddy system and bring it back down again. Sorted. I'll get one more corner one to finish off the wall units. And there you have it, all units built. Next I'm going to build the base units. And with that last one, I'm going to need to get the trusty flamer out again, burn it, so then you can blend them. there you go base units done now we're going to move on to putting some appliances in so take your sink place it on top and then find which bar piece it attaches itself to and then you can drop merge that place that back in now as long as you burn that bar piece with the merged item the merged item will totally disappear so then you won't get any intersecting problems and you can just simply repair voila one sink All right next I'm going to move on to a cooker now because of the wall units I can't place a cooker on top so I'm going to build a little one over here so then I can place the cooker on this one line it up as best you can and then like the sink find which one it gets supported on which is the front one this time and we can drop merge that one okay now I'm going to remove the pieces out of the way be careful not to store that back piece or you'll have to do the wall unit again everything will just snap into place 
and we can burn it like so. Then we have a cooker and a sink. Next I'm going to show you how I've done the island with the Thanksgiving table in it. Now I always change my floor to something with solid lines just so it helps lining things up. Alright, get your basic outline done. Make sure your table is going to fit on it okay. And then you can infill in the middle. You need to build the whole island first because the table won't get support otherwise. Okay, bring our table on. Position it obviously like everything take your time doing this bit because you want it as straight as possible right once you're happy with that it's just a question of finding which one it's supported to and there we go just like the others merge that one down so you're starting to see a pattern now Okay, then we need to store everything that's going to be in the way of the table because it'll only cry that it's intersecting. Right, next you want to grab your flamer again and burn the bar piece with the merged item. Right now you can rebuild the island again. Okay, so before I repair anything. I'm going to show you how to hide the washing machine and tumble dryer in there. Once you've placed both of them in and you're happy with it, you can go ahead and burn it. And then you can replace the island again. And now you can hit the repair all button. So there you have it, an island with a table plus washer and dryer. Alright, lastly I'm going to throw a fridge in. 
it's weird because sometimes you have to burn the item with no bar pieces there some items it will say it's intersecting so you have to drop merge it it's just a question of trying both methods figuring out which one works and going with it so once that's burnt you can then build inside it technically like so there you go quick and easy kitchen with island right next I'm going to show you how I put nuka cola bottles inside of my nuka cola vending machine now a disclaimer on these next two merges I didn't come up with them the fallout community did I'm just another person showing you how to do it. First off, I put two plain Nuka Colas, two coloured Nuka Colas, then two plain Nuka Colas, and two coloured Nuka Colas. Then you can take away all the plain Nuka Colas, leaving the coloured Nuka Colas on the left hand side of the display. You can only do this with the clean Atom Shop brought uh, Nuka Cola machine. The Nuka Cola machine that you can obtain the plans in game, this won't work. This can be a bit of a pain lining everything up, so it's going to take a few attempts till you get it in the right place. Alright, as you can see right here, the problem with the old buddy system is sometimes it can duplicate the original item. It's not a problem, you could change servers and it disappear, but while on this server it's a pain in the neck and it'll stay there. I think you're the only people who can see it, I don't think other people can see it. And there you go, Nuka Colas in your camp. Right, next, this is another thing I've been asked about, is how to put specimen tubes inside Symptomatic. Just like everything on the game, stick it on top and merge it. You could, the possibilities are endless. Hello to my random encounter for the day. <laughs> and there you go. So that's it for this video. Showing you a quick few easy tricks to uh, bring a kitchen to life and you've also got hidden power and some cool camp items hope you enjoyed the video and if you found any of this useful please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye bye